India's Tata Advanced Systems Limited, in collaboration with Airbus, will manufacture C-295 military transport planes under the Make in India initiative. The foundation stone for the Tata Airbus plant was laid by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Vadodara, Gujarat. This is considered by many to be India's big leap into becoming a global hub for manufacturing large aircrafts, both passenger and cargo. The Tata Airbus plant will generate 15,000 new skilled jobs and will also provide business to over 100 micro, small and medium enterprises. India's mantra of Make in India, Made for the Globe, continues to enhance the country's capabilities in many different industries and areas. Now, Bharat transport plane ka bhi bahut bada nirmata bane ga. Aaj Bharat mein iski shuruat ho rahi. Aur mein wo din dekh raha ha. Jab dunia ke bade passenger planes bhi भारत में ही बनेंगे और उन पर लिखा होगा मेक इन इंडिया The world is looking towards India's robust market which is fast recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic Be it relaxing foreign direct investment norms across several sectors or launching the production-linked incentive scheme aiming to make Indian manufacturers globally competitive, the Indian government has been the driving force behind India's economic recovery. Recently, India's economy overtook the United Kingdom's in terms of nominal GDP, making it the fifth largest in the world. The Morgan Stanley, Why This is India's Decade Report, further predicts that India will become the world's third largest economy and stock market before the end of the decade. Yes, it is possible. And uh, it's important to again, fully unlock this, this entrepreneurial potential in the economy and, uh, and link firms to, to, to markets, to, 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 to new ways of doing business. And, and to technologies, and uh, and 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 it's you know that's that's the way to get there. How will India reshape its future growth? As per the Morgan Stanley report, India's per capita annual income is set to rise from 2,278 USD to 5,242 USD in 2031 setting the stage for a discretionary spending boom. The report also estimates that global spending on outsourcing could rise from 180 billion USD per year to around 500 billion USD by 2030, which will have significant effects on both commercial and residential real estate demand. The report praised India's Adar system, the foundational ID for all Indians, designed to facilitate high-volume financial transactions at low cost with small-value transactions. Further, the report estimates that India's manufacturing share of its GDP will rise from 21.6% to 41% by 2031, implying an incremental 1 trillion USD manufacturing opportunity. India's global export market share is also expected to almost double from 2.3% to 4.5% by 2031, providing an incremental 1.2 trillion USD export opportunity. India's services exports will almost triple to 527 billion USD from 178 billion USD in 2021 over the next decade. From e-commerce to internet penetration, passenger vehicle sales to residential property, the new India will shape the new world order in the next coming decade. <laughs>